Welcome to the first car talk. All right, this is uh, my name's Jackson. This is gonna be my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know how far I'll, I'll take this, but hopefully, uh, hopefully my gym content can hopefully inspire you to go and want to do some some self improvement work, um, and hopefully you can relate to some of the things that I talk about throughout this whole journey of <coughs> being someone who wants to create content. So. Um, anyways, I guess this is the first kind of pre-workout talk that we're doing. Um, and so I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to talk about on the way over here. Uh, and I think I just, I just want to start talking about some things that have been on my mind. So like the biggest thing this year in terms of like a performance goal setting standpoint that's been on my mind has been, uh, just like. I want this year to be the year that I fall in love with the process of doing the thing, you know? Um, like I, I, I've been lifting now for probably like almost four years, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, and like at this point, I, I love the gym, like every aspect of it. When I started that, it was really hard. Not, I was right now I'm sitting at probably 178. Um, but when I started working out, I was only like, I would have been like 14, probably 135, and uh, I was really skinny, really skinny guy. I remember my uh, my freshman year, I dated this girl, and uh, she she broke up with me, and I was I was just so devastated. And I remember I was just thinking to myself um, at the time I was playing football, and I was like, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be so big like I just need to get bigger I need to work out I need to get stronger and then I'll just get all these then no one will leave you know it was a that was my kind of my thought process was like I'm gonna I need to level up type stuff you know and uh yeah so I I remember I hated it at first and there was such a learning curve but once I got past that it was it was pretty easy um but what what lifting's kind of taught me is that the the process of doing the thing is what you should be trying to become addicted to um because a lot of people a lot of people said outcome it's called they, they call them outcome goals for their life um where they they have an expectation of what they want to have happen right so they they see for example like the gym is a really good example like people go to the gym the the reason why they want to go to the gym is because they want to look better they want to feel better they want to you know like relieve pain that type of stuff but that while that is like the ultimate goal that's like the reason you're doing it when you're thinking of it from a cons what from a habitual standpoint you're trying to build habits right the habit of consistency so when you're trying to build the habit of consistency when you're too focused on the end goal it's it can be really hard to really enjoy the process of doing the thing and even getting yourself to like be committed to the process of doing the thing right which is working out so Instead, what I've kind of tried to do with myself is make the goal just showing up and doing the workout. That's the goal. I'm not, my goal isn't to, yeah, I want to look better. I want to whatever, you know, like I want to be bigger. I want to be leaner. But really the goal is just to do the gym every single day. Do the thing every single day as hard as I can. And in doing so, I give myself faith like I have faith in myself that I'm going to achieve those goals because I am putting in the work I am taking those steps every day to uh, to improve myself right so yeah so I just it, it builds like this internal confidence that you can do anything that you want when the process is what you've committed yourself to rather than the actual outcome of that process so yeah, so I just, I, th I thought I think that's really cool, and I think I think it kind of applies to everything in life when you're when you're thinking about it. Um, obviously, everything if you want to if you want to be successful in anything, you have to be really good at it. And in order to get really good at anything, you need to have consistency. Like, um, what is it? Uh, repetition is the is the mother of skill. I think is the is the quote. I kind of forget, but. Yeah, it's basically just saying like you need to do it over and over and over and again and again and and, and like just relentlessly pushing towards your outcome. Um, I kind of forgot where I was going with that, but <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Clash Royale for a little bit and then go hit this this chest day. Let's talk about the chest day. Let's, yeah, we'll, we'll go into the chest day. How about that? We're doing chest and try today. That's the workout. Um, chest. I really love bench press. That's like my favorite movement. I'm uh, genetically gifted in my uh, like width. So like I have really really strong shoulders, triceps, and like chest muscles. So bench press is kind of kind of my bread and butter. Um, so I'm gonna probably do some flat bench press and then uh, probably some incline. I like dumbbell incline. That's my go-to for for upper body. I am on the cut right now. So, so currently I'm sitting at probably 175 dry. Um, I, I might have said another number earlier. I'm, I'm 175 dry, probably about 11% body fat. If I could get down to like 168 and like 9% body fat, 8.5% body fat, that would be awesome. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get shredded. That's kind of the goal right now. So I did this bulk for like four months, no more longer than that probably like five or six months and was not fun too much chocolate milk was consumed in the process of doing that but um yeah so we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna have a good workout even, even though we're on the cut we might have some less energy but it'll be fine so we'll hit some chest and then i guess we'll go after incline probably some dips i like dips anything calisthenics anything calisthenics is so solid like I know a lot of people don't like to do push-ups or anything, but like at the end of my chest days, I like to do. Me and my brother do this. Um, we try to we try to do the the bring Sally up, bring Sally down. You know that one, and it's a uh, and basically every time you go down, you have to like hold it, and so it's just you go for time, right? Right now, I think I'm at like a minute forty. Um, it's a th like a three and a half minute song, so I need to try to get through the whole song, and it'll just hopefully I'll get better as it at, at it as I get lighter. Um, so yeah, it, I think that'll be fine. Um, I like to do that at the end of the workout and then yeah, triceps, uh, straight bar pushdowns. That is the <laughs> absolute best tricep exercise. If you're somebody that knows how to control your, uh, how to stabilize in that movement on heavy pushdowns. Cause yeah, you can just absolutely destroy your triceps with those. Um, and then honestly, probably skull crushers. I haven't done skull crushers in a while and that would be. A, that would be a good exercise to throw in there today. So that'll be the workout, and I'll, you know, I'll talk more when we get inside. But uh, yeah, for now we're just gonna play some Clash Royale. All right, I'm about to play. This is a goaded song. If you don't like this song, then I mean, you just you have no taste in music. All right. <laughs> bench press right now. Favorite movement, of course. Uh, we're gonna be working with two plates today, so 225 pounds. Um, probably gonna do like three or four sets here, trying to hit eight to 10 reps per set. I'm a little bit weaker since starting my gut, so like on the bulk, I was able to be repping out like 10 to 12, but I'm just more tired now, so it's going back down to about eight to 10, but. To be, to be a good movement. Um, biggest thing here for you guys that are trying to do bench press, um, really keep your scapula down and try to isolate almost like you're rolling back so that you can really target your pecs and be stable in your scapula, whatever. I know it's 
a lot of fancy technical terms. Basically, just keep your shoulders back when you do it, um, so your arms don't like flare forward and use too much shoulder. So, um, yeah, well, let's get it. Smith Incline next here. We're working with a plate in 25 today. I haven't used a Smith machine for uh, incline before, so we'll see. Well, I like this specific Smith machine, so we'll see how uh, we'll see how well it goes. But I think it should be pretty good. Um, hopefully, you can hit about 10 reps, 10, 12 reps, same as before. Uh, it it could be really, really heavy though, so we'll we'll kind of play it by ear, I guess. On <laughs> whether or not I get uh, 10 to 12 reps or not, but yeah, anyways, let's just hop right into it. This We're gonna go down to a plane of 10 for the last set. Focus more on just squeezing, pumping out as many reps as I can. Um, damn, loud cars outside. Um, I'm trying to keep as much muscle in my upper chest as possible, trying to like almost focus on that. Um, I have a really developed like lower chest, but my upper chest is kind of slacking. So hopefully these squeezing reps will be feel really good. And we'll, uh, we're gonna kill it, man. This is I'm loving this chest day. This is some good shit right now. So we'll uh, just finishing it out, and yeah, that'll be it. So I lied. I'm gonna do another one. It's doing really good, and I need more upper chest, so we're gonna do one more. And I filmed the first set. Like I was sitting here, I, I, I talked, clicked the button, didn't record. So fun times. Technology is great, but yeah. So we're gonna do we're gonna do one more, and then we'll uh, probably do sally ups and then go do triceps because I'm not really feeling dips today. So maybe we'll do one set of body weight dips to failure. That'll be we'll call that good. Eight sets. It's all. It's all. Good, so. all right, one more. One more.
Got straight bar pull downs next. All right, triceps to start. It's kind of a weird movement. A lot of people do this like terribly wrong, but essentially you wanna you wanna drive tuck. And you wanna squeeze your back right. You wanna kind of bend your wrist down like you're a T-Rex. You know what I mean? Like tiny arms. And I just kind of lean forward. And then keeping that chest high, right? Keep that chest straight. Elbows in the same place. And you're just walking it down, down back up. It's just super simple. But a lot of people look like come here or something, or like do this. Like that's not that's not how you do it. So yeah, you gotta be, be a little T-Rex when you do these. It's so, a quick little tip for you. So. So my uh, my dorm room has a piano room in it, and so um, I played a little bit as a kid, and I, I know like all the notes on the piano. I've done like choir since I was a kid too, so I uh, I figured I'd try to pick up the hobby, see if I couldn't you know do something more productive than playing video games. So I'm here. I'm gonna play some piano. I'll just kind of run through a couple pieces. I know I know like the basics to a couple. Um, some of them were kind of hard. You might recognize them. I don't know, but I don't know. I just figured I'd throw this in here at the end just to kind of show you some stuff that I do in my free time. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Do I look lonely? I see the shadows on That's just what I learned so far, but we'll see. We'll see if I can't uh, get better at that. <laughs> 